your past does not, you know, does not dictate your, your future. And so, I mean, I have, you know, I was in personal foreclosure. I'd gone through a divorce. I, you know, had, you know, child abuse when I, when I was younger. Um, drug abuse in, in high school, dropped out of college. I actually took five years to finish high school because of the drug abuse. Uh, so it's, those things don't mean that you can't have success. <laughs> so this is Jane, and she's freaking awesome. She so cares about your success. Make sure you go with Jane. She's going to help you get to the top. Awesome. I'm breaking them. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jane Orloff. I'm here with Ray Higdon. If you don't know who Ray Higdon is, you should definitely look him up. He's the top earner of his primary company, Numis Network. He is the best blogger out there. He provides tons of value to people. He changed my life because I was following all his blog posts. We finally meet at the event. It's awesome. I have some questions that people sent me for you. So I haven't even memorized them because right. you know you don't have to be perfect to be able to start interviewing sure. top leaders. People think, you know, I'm preparing for all the interviews, I'm like running and I have like <laughs> last minute preparation. I don't right. plan for months what I'm gonna ask. I just say, hey guys, what do you wanna know? Boom, right. they send me the emails, okay, I'm gonna read it. It's not awesome. gonna be perfect, it's, but you know, it's, <laughs> you take action, okay, people? So Ray, introduce yourself. How, I mean, a little bit about your story. I mean, if people don't know, sure. you should. Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, thanks for having me on your show, video, whatever, right? right? Um, so I appreciate that. Uh, my name is Ray Higdon. Let's see, I live in Florida, I live in Southwest Florida. And a few years ago, I was, I've been in real estate from 2004 to about 2008 is when I really stopped making money. And uh, so I went for about a year of really, really tight times. Um, I actually went through personal foreclosure, went through just a lot of financial mess, which I'm sure some people can, can relate to. Uh, joined a network marketing company, got serious about it, then started learning online marketing and uh, hit 10,000 a month in, in my fifth month and have now become the number one income earner in my company and life has been fantastic. And so, you know, I talk to a lot of people that are in tough situations and I tell them, you know, if you just focus and you focus on who you're being and you focus on your daily method of operation, you can become successful no matter where you are right now. You said that you were successful before in real estate. Yep. And then you, you lost everything. Yes. When people lose everything and they had success, they go in depression. They don't. I mean, I, I meet so many people. They don't find other ways. They say, "Oh my gosh," and they leave their past success and they bitch and moan and groan and whatever. What would you say to those people? Uh, well, number one, you're right. Um, I know a lot of people that have had success in some industry or in some way or shape or fashion. A lot of times they've had success in other network marketing companies and then something happens and they just can't regenerate that same level of success. And what I see is it's kind of like, <clears throat> you know, if you, if you severed off your hand, right, if you just chopped your hand off or something happened, some kind of accident chopped your hand off, you wouldn't just go around saying, hey, my hand is gone, you know, it's bleeding everywhere. You would do something about it. And so people that are so focused on their past success, they need to do something about it. They need to do something now and understand that when they had success, it was because they were exchanging, it was a value exchange. They found a way to be valuable in some kind of industry, and all they need to do is find a way to be valuable again. That's it. It's not a, you know, and, and I understand this because for a year I questioned my self worth. I questioned, you know, what's wrong with me? What have I, you know, what, who was I back then? When all I was was I created value back then. And so if you learn to create value in whatever industry, you can be successful and use your past as, you know, if you've had success, which a lot of people, you know, haven't and some have, if you have had success, use it as muscle memory. Think of who were you being when you had that success and then be that, you know, be valuable, be powerful, be unstoppable, be those, those different things and you'll have success now. Could you cover a topic about how network marketing changes a lot of people? We see on online people say, well, I went from a homeless guy to a millionaire, or I went from a food stamps to a millionaire, or, and people don't relate, like, if they don't attend this event, 
they don't they think they think oh my gosh it's like one in a million right could you share how in our industry and network marketing i mean we see this all the time i mean i yeah i mean it you know the number one of the biggest things about network marketing is it's really an industry about self-improvement it's an industry about becoming um better uh, more empowered, more motivated, um, you know, just, just a more of a positive thinker. And that's something that you're going to live with yourself the rest of your life, regardless of if you choose to have success in network marketing or you choose something else. And so that's one of the major benefits of network marketing is just being around the flagpole with people that are positive, you know, and so many people aren't. Uh, the other thing is, I think everyone in the world should have some kind of um, you know side business or you know a, a, a plan B you know we just today they announced that hostess closed down that's 18,000 jobs gone 18,000 jobs how many of those 18,000 people had a side income probably not many right because they had all their eggs in one basket and so I think everyone should have some kind of side income some kind of side thing that they do that could possibly turn into their primary income you know you don't have to start this full time most people don't and just understand that you can make extra money which will relieve some stress you can get tax advantages if you're a w-2 employee and you don't have a side income you're losing about five hundred dollars a month that you're just sending to the government that you could be keeping in home in house that's just a no-brainer so there's a lot of reasons for network marketing it's just what is it that the person wants? They should all want self-improvement. And you recently did an interview with Randy Gage, and you also read his book about yep. the uh, risky is the risky new save. Risky is the yep. new save. How he talks about how people, you know, they rely on their jobs for like yep. 20 years, and then they, I mean, and then they laugh that the network marketing is, is uh, a pyramid thing. Yeah, yeah sure. So it's like, but then. What other choices do you have? What other vehicles? I mean, I was so blessed when I found out about this industry. I mean, I, I'm completely changed woman. Even if you don't make money, the whole, like you said, improvement of personal. And people pay money for the personal improvement without yeah, network marketing. Absolutely. It was like, why don't you make the connection and do the yeah. both at the same time? Yeah, network marketing is the ultimate deal, you know, because most people will spend a lot of money going to different events outside of network marketing to get better and to get, you know, to feel better, to get motivated and inspired. Network marketing, if you're part of any good company, they teach you that pretty much for free or at least very, very low cost. So, I mean, it's cool. Could you cover the importance of creating videos and also your own information products? Uh, yeah, creating your own, your own videos. Uh, video is a great medium. You know, people can connect with you through videos. They can learn your uh, wonderful personality, like Jane over here. Um, so they can, you know, see that you're a real person, which there's more and more people looking for that. You know, they're not looking for corporate messages. They're not looking for, you know, the uh, androids just sending them, you know, stuff to buy. They're looking for personalities. They're looking for real. And, you know, that's why reality TV is so popular, is they want to see real stuff. Now, you know, whether that's real or not, that's, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. But at least that gives people a way to escape Behind and, and see real life. Yeah. yeah. What I love about your videos, because I was, you were the only first one who's, who I saw that you started Whenever you would go, you would take a quick video, oh, look around, look what's yeah. here, what's here. And people want the behind the scenes. And yeah. they, they see, oh my gosh, like they were there. It's not yeah. like you are just one face and one little thing. Yeah. So that's why I started doing the same stuff. Like yeah. I was like in my robe or I was doing this. <laughs> and I was like, like with my hair messy or whatever. Like, right. you know, and people are like, oh, that's so authentic. Yeah. That's so, it's like, you don't have to put your, like a lipstick and the right. hair and just sit like that and talk right. and memorize scripts. It's right. like, oh my gosh, I never remember it. Right, so right, that's, me neither. Yeah, yeah so that you were my inspiration starting doing this. Awesome. So, yes, cool. and you know, this is cool. So now, since I'm just going to read some questions so that, <laughs> you know, so it says, what was the traffic method that generated your first lead? Did you call your first lead if they left the phone number? And uh, did you try to sell or just offered help? Great questions. Um, first way I generated a lead was probably by promoting magnetic sponsoring. That was um, kind of the first thing that I ever promoted uh, before my blog or, or any of that. And uh, absolutely, if, if someone left the number, I would absolutely call them. You know, at this point, um, 
you know, I get a lot of leads. So some I call, some my wife calls, some I just send out to my leaders. Like I have leaders in different countries and, you know, if someone from the United Kingdom often, in, I, I send them over to, you know, to one of my leaders over there or Canada or Australia. And um, so, abs but absolutely, I, I call them and you should call them. And basically people have to understand that, you know, when they put in a phone number, they're saying, please call me. Most marketers won't do that. Most marketers won't pick up the phone. And that is not calling them is losing so much ground. Years ago, when all of this was new to us, and we're like, wow, you know, and people would just buy without talking to people, it's kind of gone away. People want a personal touch. They want to know that you're real, that you'll actually help them. And um, last question, when you when I called, when I call any lead, and people have asked me a lot, they're like, well, what do you pitch? Do you pitch your primary? Do you pitch MLSP or what, you know, affiliate program or something? When I call, I listen. Okay, so I listen to them. If they are fired up about their network marketing company, I'm not going to talk to them about mine. You know, because I, I like fired up people. The world needs more fired up people. So if they're fired up about whatever, weight loss, yummy shakes, whatever, I'll say, hey, good for you, congrats. How are you doing with generate leads online? Nine out of ten are going to say, oh, I don't know how to do that. And I'll say, well, here's a video you might check out. And so, you know, I'm looking to help them. That's, you know, that's that's the key. And that's, I mean, the number one word that you can master when it comes to selling anything is listen. Listen to what they want and you'll, you'll be free. Awesome. I have my um, other question okay. here. What was the turning point in your business that took it from struggling in darkness to finally forward moving towards success? You, you said that you did a lot of... Uh, offline marketing before you actually started sure and it's what it led to your success right yeah well I, I'll, I'll clarify in that my my first six months in my company um, I don't know that I generated any leads um, I prospected now prospecting can be online or offline either one so prospecting doesn't necessarily mean offline but I did some offline I did you know went to meetups I went to networking events chamber events I did lunch meetings I did hotel meetings house meetings I um, you know found business cards and called call people I prospected realtors off realtor signs I mean I did all that stuff and prospected people on Facebook Twitter LinkedIn YouTube I signed up people from every single one of those places by prospecting, by reaching out to them and connecting with them, building a relationship and, and seeing how I could help them. Um, the, the turning point, it, it was kind of a while for me because of a couple things. One, I was so in debt. Um, you know, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I was really, really in debt. Had gone about a year, year and a half without paying any bills uh, other than my air conditioning and my utility bills, which my girlfriend was paying at the time, who's now my wife, and she's around here somewhere. Um, but uh, you know, it, 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 it took me a while because I was so in debt. Now, the other thing is I never I never brought my head above air, you know, above water for air. I didn't, I was charging, 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 and I didn't stop and look at, okay, how much have I made so far, you know, or how are sales or this one. I was just constantly charging, 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 charging. And so I was at a, uh, I was actually at about a $40,000 a month income when I kind of stopped and kind of pinched myself and I'm like, holy crap, I did this, this thing worked, laps, yeah. you know, and, and so I, I just kind of, you know, I kind of woke up, I'm like, wow, I've been able to do this, this is really awesome, so. And then, it, it, this success you created in this, in Nukes, right? Because yes. Before you had some other companies that you Yes. Did. Yeah, I, I, I had been in 11 other network marketing companies and didn't really know what I was doing, didn't get the mentoring or, or training or support, and, and not that that's the total fault, because a lot of it was me, you know, I, I just, maybe I just wasn't ready, you know, so um, I, I did, this is the first company that I've had success with, actually, uh, that lasted, you know, I mean, I signed up a few people in other companies, but, you know, it's, it's just been a different experience. All right, one second break, I want to see if it's still recording, because you don't, you don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to <laughs> record the whole thing and it's for some reason it turned off. Let's do a, a short, a short, sure. like a test so that I don't take okay. the whole thing. And can you talk uh, one minute? Yes, Something for exactly one minute. Yes. Talk for one minute. Something 60 fun. seconds, but, talking for 60 seconds? Yes. <laughs> okay, now that I'm clear that you need me to talk for 60 seconds, I am more than happy to talk for at least 60 Brian seconds. Brian is like laughing here. Just I got Ray. <laughs> I just want to see it. I want to see it. 
professionalism. Get it, get it oh, there. <laughs> What's up, dude? <laughs> Doing good? Watch out, hot coffee, man. Hot coffee, hot coffee. Like that shirt, man. Like a shirt, baby. Yeah. It's unstoppable. Yeah. Unstoppable. Yeah, We're here at the, there's like a pool and stuff, right? <laughs> I, 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 I,